point to point to point. You have to arc them to make them work. Um, and it's the same in here. It, you know, you have to go create center line of the, of the creek or whatever that is, a creek in the top of bank, which is 680 uh, and 652. You'll have to run the, your linear feature all the way down through there and do the same thing. And it, you can do the same thing with this. Create a field book, create a train model right there. And boom, you have a train model. Same in here, you have to deactivate the process, survey processing rules and go in and edit the triangles, just like we did before. And then we want to go to train and, uh, where is it? Create edit, edit model right there. It gives all your, I want to delete triangle, so I pick that one, boom, it lets me delete that triangle. And then the same way you want to add a boundary, go to boundary options, add a boundary, pick on it, tell it you want a feature definition of linear train feature, train interior, and you just follow the prompts. Boom, there you have it. Now, once you reactivate the survey processing rules, the terrain model will hold its edits. <clears throat> now, we'll switch over and do the Massey Lane. We want to create a new drawing. I want to go into the Massey Lane file. And we want to do the same with it. We want to create... Massey Lane Bridge Survey, you want to tell it that it's an ORD file, so underscore ORD. Oops. Make sure it's an i.eng 3D file. Hit save. Make sure you're on the survey tab. You want to be on the survey workflow. Create a new fill book. This one, we're just going to open the Massey Lane desktop, Massey Lane files. I'm going to put them over here on my other screen, and I'm just going to drag and drop it so you can see. Whoops. I got to make sure. Make sure you're on Fieldbook 1, and you can name these Fieldbooks anything you want. Just go to Properties. Go in here and rename the Fieldbook. Call it. Boom, there's your fill. So I'm going to drag it out, Massey Lane 1 in here. Make sure you highlight the Massey Lane fill book when you drag and drop it. It'll ask you for the TIW file. Hit apply. You have to make sure you pick the TIW file and then it'll process the survey. I'm do it. zoom extents. And there's that. The 134 is our control points and like I said this one had some I don't know if that one file was a control point file or not let's take a look at it apply and the cool thing about this is I can turn this off and just look at the one I just imported and if I go do a zoom extends you can see it's just control points through there. So you can create another field book and just put the control points in one field book, but we're not really worried about it right now. You can see it. It's right there. It's an A18. If I go in, I'll show you a cool feature here. Or if, if you don't know what your point code list is, I showed you in um, the SS. 10 where to find it on the iDOT website, but you can find it. Go to your iDOT CAD, go to I think it's GeoPack. Um, no, let me see. G Standard. I gotta remember where it's at, GeoPack, because uh, my setup's gonna be a little bit different in a survey. 
go to Geopack Sur IDOTCAD Geopack Survey and open the XLS file and it'll give you a list of all the point codes and what was that point code we were looking at 818 so let's scroll all the way down and see what 818 is I'm not out surveying every day so I don't remember all the survey codes um, when I was younger yeah I did all the time and I knew a lot of these codes but since I've come in so that's a 818 is a per permanent survey marker and it's featured full descriptions permanent survey mo monitor it's on topo control points it's a boundary survey marker it's a sell up drops in it doesn't have a line style it's not a linear feature and it's not part of the DTM and it's under miscellaneous category so there's where you can get your, your survey point code and you know you can make this down and shrink it down and put it on cheat sheets and out in the field for you or whatever um, and already works the same way so we can take and go we import them on in the control file we can go click on two three four five six and seven and we can drag and drop them on the Massey Lane field book. The TIW file pops up, hit apply all, make sure you get district six highlighted, apply all, and I'll process all of them. I may take a little bit with open Earth designer because it's gonna go through and make sure everything's right and it's gonna process everything at once. I mean, if you, I do four or five files at a time, you can see the errors in the, in the coding in here, you know, like that, that's not going to jump And You know, if you're getting congested, go to the field book or the analyze tab, turn off the names, field codes, or you can just leave the field codes on and you can see everything. The tree line is not going to jot across the road like this. You can see there's some errors in here. So you're going to have to do some editing in here and, so like here, we're going to look at the fastest way to edit. You see it gives you a manage point list. Okay. Fastest way to do editing in ORD is come in and pick on convert point list to linear feature. Okay. Now we can look at this. Now everything's a linear or point list. So you can edit it really easy. So we look at this and... That's a 60466, and it's going all the way up here to a 60466. So that's not going to happen. So we're going to go here. We're going to edit it, and see it highlights the whole line, and see it's got an end code there. So the end code should be right there, end, and then put that one to none, except. Uh-oh, it didn't do it. 